Hi everybody, this is Mehdi with Talos Drones. Today I'd like to talk about chargers. Why? Because we have so many chargers that can charge DB1560 battery, which works with Agres T50, T40, and T30. In fact, it even works with the Agres T25 and T20P, this uh, battery. Then we have DJ Agres T30 batteries. We have DJ Agres T40 batteries. All of these, they have these chargers, they can charge all of them. So we gotta just, I just like to talk about the compatibility of the batteries with the chargers, the batteries with the drones, and all of that. But the, the goal of this video is talking about the chargers. But just a second, I'm gonna show you, this is the DB1560 battery. As you can see, it has some uh, cooling areas here, so you can put it in a cooling system. If you buy an Agres T50 or an Agres T40, in the box at the top of it, there is the battery cooling kit. So you just put this in it and it cools down the battery while you're charging it. Because if your battery is over a certain temperature, your charger automatically stops charging it and you will waste some time in the field and you don't want that. So that's why you use the battery cooling kit. So now this is, as I mentioned, DB1560. The DJ Agres T40 battery was exactly looking the same, but it had probably some internal uh, differences. And we have the T30 battery. So this T30 battery is basically the same thing, but it doesn't have the cooling area. Still, you can use it with the battery cooling system. It just still blows some air to it, but it doesn't cool it down the same way that it can cool down this DB1560. So these two batteries that I just showed you, they have the same connector here. And if you want to zoom in for the on it, is it possible to zoom in? As you can see, this connector here, that's where the battery charger connects to. And uh, the T30 battery and DB1560 battery and uh, Agres T40 battery, they have the same sort of connector. So now that I mentioned that, we have two more batteries, Agres T20P battery and C800, uh, C800 battery. C800 is the battery that was released for the DJI Agres T25 drones. T20P was released for the T20P drones. They have the same connectors too. What it means when I mention these connectors is that all these chargers can charge all those batteries. Why? Because they have the same sort of connector as well, these chargers. So now, this connector I picked up is from the C10,000. This is the latest charger that was released by DJI in 2024 with the release of the DJI Agres T50. So there is a small difference in these connectors that I just showed you. I said they are the same, but I just noticed something. If you look at these connectors, this part is the same, right? And then we have this little part here, these connectors, I think they're called like TX60 connectors. So these connector powers on the fans on the battery cooling kit. As you can see, the C8000 and T30 charger, they don't have this yellow part. So what you will need to do to power on the battery cooling fan is to have a kit that we have called the battery cooling, cooling adapter kit to power on the fans separately. But anyways, so this right here on the left is the Agres T30 charger. This is C8000 charger and this is the C10,000 charger. The number 10,000 means it's a 10,000 watt uh, charger equipment. 8,000 watt equipment, 7,200 watt equipment. It's very hot here right now, I'm not gonna lie. We are filming and in Riverside, California, for some reason it's hot, so sorry guys if I uh, look sweaty. So, here, the only difference you can say, like visually on these two, you can see here it says Agris Battery Hub. On this one it says C8000 Intelligent Battery Hub. It says DJI, the logo, this is the Agris logo. That one looks completely different. 
So with that being said, you can see on the back of these two chargers, you have two areas, two connectors that you can connect uh, either 110 volt cables or 240 volt cables. To get the full power of these chargers, you need to connect both power supplies to 240 volts to get to, the, to almost like 10 to 15 minutes of charging time from them. So with that being said, you get about 10 minutes almost roughly charging time on this C10,000 and the connections are different. Drop something. Okay. So on the C10,000, this is the same charger that is inside the D12,000 generator, I think. Yeah, I think it is. It looks the same at least. But you see these areas here? The package comes with two cables. In the box, you should receive two of these. And here you can connect them to whatever 240 volt outlet you have. One is the neutral, then it says L on the red one, and this one says PE, connect the ground wire with a neutral wire or a hot wire. So basically this is L, this is neutral, and this is I think the ground. If you get these, please talk to an electrician. I'm not an electrician, so I can't tell you exactly what you need to connect to what, depending on your at, uh, outlet and the connector that you have for 240 volt. But I can tell you, this one, on this side, you can see it looks like these ones at the back here, because you can connect it to a 110 volt outlet and charge a battery with one of the power supplies here in your office. It will be super slow, but you're in the office, you just wanna charge it. So. You get about 10 minutes charge time on this one, maybe around two minutes more on this, and two, one to two minutes more on this in compare with this one. So let's say, like, it's, it can be different because it really depends at what percentage of battery, like 20% battery or 30% you connect it to your charger, right? But let's say this gives you 14 minutes, this gives you 12 minutes, and this gives you 10 minutes. This is 10 minutes that it gives you. It's more expensive and it's a powerful equipment. But in the design, you can see you only have one connector. So if you forget that right after 10 minutes, disconnect the battery and connect the second battery that you have, you can lose time. On the other hand, this one has two connectors. So you can connect two batteries at the same time. So in 12 minutes, when it finish, finishes, let's say, charging the first battery, automatically it starts charging the other one. So in, in general, you might, if you are someone that can forget that your battery is full and you need to connect another one, or if you have a one-man operation, which I think in the U US you can't have that for T50 because FAA requires you to have two people at least, uh, then you might be better off with this. But if you have someone in charge of just charging the batteries, then this one will work just faster. Yeah, but the difference is not huge in between them. So I spoke about all of these generators. DJ has the D12,000IE. I'm sorry, I said generators. These are all chargers. DJI has the D12,000IE generator as well. And inside of that generator, there is already a charger like the C10,000. So it charges your batteries in about nine to 10 minutes. If you're using these two, you don't really have to use the battery cooling kit, but if you're using the C10,000 or the generator, it's recommended to use the battery cooling kit because it puts a lot of power in a shorter period of time in your battery and it can heat it up. And uh, because of that, I actually recommend using the battery cooling kit if you are using C10,000 charger or uh, D. 12,000 IE generator, so many names. Price-wise, I think this one is about like 1,800 roughly. Uh, 1,499, 1,499, and then 1,399 or so, you should be able to see the prices, the exact prices here, or check our website, talusdrones.com. 
to see the latest pricing on these ones. C10,000, C8,000, DJI Agress T30 charger. All of them will work for you. I just explained the differences. Thank you for watching.